Farm Guy here, and this is Poll Log Trailer by Kenny456 on Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on the Rock Crawl map. 4.92 megabytes to download. Slot counts vary. We'll talk about that a little bit later. What is this? Well, it's just as it says, it's a Poll Log Trailer, but it has uh, lots of different, well, Let's go over here. I have them individually. We have five items in this pack and they all do basically the same thing. However, they do it all just a little bit differently and you'll see what I mean when we uh, when we get into it. Uh, where do you find it? We'll find it under tools and forestry equipment. And as you can see here, we have several well, we say pieces, pole log trailer front part, $12,000. And then we have color options. It's gonna cost you three grand for that. We're gonna show you how that works. Then we have the pole log trailer rear part, $22,000. Again, main color and a rim color option like so. And then that kind of continues on. We have a dolly, which is, uh, would be a well, the front part of a trailer. You see how things are kind of fitting together now. Now we have a front and a rear. Uh, if you want them all, get them all at once. Get them all at once, a front and rear part together. Or if you want a pole log dolly and rear, so you get the dolly. You see, you see how they kind of go together now? We have a rear part and the dolly. So they're somewhat interchangeable. I have a few examples of what how you might use them. The dolly would be hooked up with a tractor or so forth. Uh, the front part here hit, is, hooks onto a semi truck with the rear part. Or you can have a separate front part, hook it up to another rear part, and then even hook a dolly and then so on. You can have a log train going. They all have hitches where they're um, appropriately placed hitches. Right, so let's hop in to a semi and look at the front part first. And they're all very easy to use. You just back up to it and it will give you the little icon there. Oh, uh, obviously dual tires or very wide tires on the back are not going to work. It is uh, fairly narrow, but as you can see here, it hooks up to the fifth wheel. Now, uh, let's get our help window on here. L1, R1. So R1 and right stick up and down. You can adjust that back. Um, that back hitch in order to, you know, be appropriate for whatever truck you're using. Now, that hitch will hook up to the back part of the log carrier here as you can see there and there we go so now we have a long log carrier now we do have an added adjustment we still have that hitch adjustment as you can see there but now l1 and uh l1 l1 and right stick up and down you can shorten or lengthen that back attachment as short as that or as long I mean I think it was its maximum length oh not quite we can wow okay there we go there's the maximum length so you can adjust it to whatever length of logs you are using now if you want to attach the dolly you can attach it to the back of this trailer as well as seen here and then you can attach another another back piece to the back of the dolly and so on and so forth etc etc now here's as i as i uh, as i mentioned this one has both the dolly and the back piece uh, when you purchase it the you can purchase it together but they are detachable oh sorry not the that's the wrong one detach the back piece there we go And you can detach them. So you buy them together, but they are detachable. It's not a one-piece deal. Right. 
Now, what about... So that's the one we just shown here, the one that comes all together. Now, here's one that comes with the dolly and a back piece together too. That's the fourth one that we've shown, if you recall. And that would be this one here. So what's the dolly for? Well, the dolly is for if you don't have a semi truck and you want to pull stuff around with the tractor. Again, same thing here. We can detach the back piece and you have the dolly or attach that again and as well that they, they all have a hitch on the back piece all has a hitch the dollies all have hitches and the front piece all have hitches so you can hook them up you can hook this up to a dolly if you want if you want a really a really short one right so the doll you can hook the dolly up to that and then you have a super duper short one too if you like uh, let's see adjustment for the dolly yes so uh, we have that and no nope. no adjustment we have the, the tension belts of course tension belts on the front tension belts oh that's a problem uh, tension belts Tension belts on the front. I don't see any tension belts on that back piece. No. No tension belts back here. That could be... There's tension belts here. On the dolly has tension belts, but this back piece does not have any tension belts that I can see. So, I don't know if that's intentional or if that was missed. However, that could be an issue. Let's take a look at lights. So we have lights on each of them except for the front. The front piece, well, there is lights, but not signal lights. Signal lights, reverse lights, beacons, no beacons. Right, so I think that covers it. I don't have logs to demonstrate, but obviously you can see no tension belt on this back section no matter which one you choose. And there you have it. So another log hauling option, the pull log trailer by Kenny456 on Farming Simulator 22. Thank you all for watching. And remember, it's only a game. So till next time, bye for now.